Uh, Bismillah rahman rahim So let us go for one example. In order to calculate standard deviation and coefficient of variation. See, from the following information, calculate the standard deviation and coefficient of variation. And this is the information. Return is given here and probability is also given here. This is the return, 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 and these are the probabilities. But remember that the total probability should not be more than 100%. Or if it is in the form of decimal, the total uh, probability should not be more than 1, right? So now let us calculate the standard deviation. And we know from which formula we have to use. I am going to use from this formula itself. So this is the formula for a standard deviation. And this is the formula for coefficient of variation, right? R minus R bar into power of 2 into it into P root of 2 of this one. So now let us make column. How many columns is needed? How many columns are needed? Basically, in order to calculate this one, so in order to reduce the time, let me open this one again with the Excel and calculate it with the Excel, right? So let me insert the Excel file here. Okay. Click on the edit in order to do something with the Excel here itself. Now let us do it. How many columns are needed here? How to find out how many columns are needed? Basically, you can find it here. One column for R. One column for uh, this one, for R bar, right? So basically, one column for R, one column for P first. One column for R, one column for E. Next column, in order to find out R, we have to multiply R into P. One column for that one. Next column, R minus R bar. Next column, R minus R bar in the power of 2. And next column is P, right? So several columns are needed. Now let us check how many columns are needed. Let us do in this way. Let us say, for example, the first column is R. We want to show R or return in this column. Second column is P, right? Next column, in order to calculate R bar, so we have to multiply R into it, into P, right? This column is RP. Next column, we have to do this one, R minus R bar. This is the case. Next column is, for this one, for R minus R bar, minus R bar, sorry, R bar, into power of 2, right? Power, how to take power? Power we can take in this formula. And the next one is, of course, then do this one. Take again bracket, then R minus R bar, bracket close, in the power of 2, then multiply 2, multiply to P. So how many columns are needed basically? So you can say for example one column for R, one column for P, one column for RP, one column for R minus R bar, next column for uh, this one R minus R bar into power of 2 and the next one is R minus R bar into power of 2 into it into P, right? So you can increase the size or the form size here. Make it 14, right? So it should be visible a little bit, not only for this column. For the rest of the columns as well, the phone size should be 14, right? Take it 14. 14 or yeah, 16, 14 is okay, right? So this is increase the column as well for this one. Increase the column for this one as well. Now you can mention the value of this one, R. How much is the value of R? 20. Take it 20. Instead of percentage, just take it 20 only, right? Next one is. 30, next return is 30, next return is 40, next is 25, uh, next return is uh, 50, and next return is equal to how much? 15, right? So 20 percentage, take it in the percentage. This is percentage. And this is 20 return, 30 return, 40, 25, 50, and so on. One column take in the form of the percentage or complete number, and the second one take in the form of the decimal. So instead of 10 percentage, I'm going to take 0 0.1, right? In the second one, 0 0.15. In the next one, it is 0 
and the next one 0 0.0.25 0 .25, right and the next one 0 0.2 and the next one 0 0.1 right these are the probabilities then how can you find out the r bar in order to find out r bar all r should be multiplied to p right how can we do it so we have to multiply this to column so this column of course multiply to the next column right whatever is the result so that is the percentage so okay that is fine two right so increase uh, expand this one in the next columns as well what is wrong here yeah you can do for this as well now this is the percentage or r so in this way so this is the rule of excel right so we can do for the rest of the columns so now it is multiplied to this one this multiplied to this one this multiplied to this one and so on and finally you can merge this column you can mention r bar you can mention what r bar r bar is equal to how much how much is the r bar you have to sum up all the above items take the sum of all those items so take the sum of this one plus this one plus this one right so total and take the plus sign the the expected return is basically how many percentage 32.25 this is the percentage or this is the r bar right next column you have to find out r minus r bar so it is equal to where is r r is this column right r minus r bar this is r bar right press the equal sign so this becomes 12 percentage so you can do for the rest of this one as well from the next one for the next one as well from r minus r bar from r minus r bar from r minus r bar r minus r bar r minus r bar and so on if this is so you can do it with excel you can find out in this way right so this is the if you do calculate in this way there might be some mistakes so i'm not going to calculate in this way so let us do this one for the next as well r this is r right from r minus r bar you get this value next one also you can do the same thing from each r minus r bar r minus r bar right this is the value and of course do for the rest from r minus r bar this is r bar right this is the value and next one again do the same thing from r minus r bar this is r bar right this is the value and for the next from r minus r bar how much is r bar this is the value right so these are the value that we have calculated after this this is r bar right r bar my r minus r bar in the power of 2 so it means this column in the power of 2 we can do it here simply like this the value in the power of in the power of 2 right so this is the case that you can get the value right so you can do for the rest of the things through excel so how can you do it so select this one then you can find out the value right then next column is next column the previous column multiply in the power of multiply into p so the previous column multiply to to p where's the p column p column is this one multiply to this one this is the case so you can find out for the rest as well by just pressing this right you can do it. now we want to find out the total of this one right find out the total of above how can you find out the total again you have to take the sum take the sum of above items so take the sum of this one whatever is the value the value is equal to 133 point something like that so then close the excel yes save it here now so the value is basically imported from excel right so we have calculated the value the value of under the root r minus r bar in the power of 2 into p so this is the total and this is and that was the sum up right so we have found the sum of this one now the sum of the value is equal to how much 133.3 something like that right so now let us calculate the value itself take the root of this one how we can take the root of this one easily you can do here itself so we can do like this right 
So R, this one, standard division is equal to, we have to take the root of 2 of this one, 133, find how much? 6, 8, and so on, 5, right? So we have to take the root of 2 of this one. In order to take the root of 2 of this one, so let me calculate it through calculator. So let us do this one with the calculator, right? How we can do with the calculator? Please open the calculator here. Okay, now root of 2 of 133 point something like that is equal to how much? You can mention simply 133.6875 root of 2, right? Root of 2 of this one become equal to so this one a standard division a standard that deviation is equal to how much how much was the value the value is hello one point five six the value is hello one point five six basically this is a percentage so this is the standard deviation a standard deviation for this example is equal to hello one point six five percentage this was the standard division and how much is this one coefficient of variation if you remember the co formula for coefficient of variation this is a standard division divided by r bar right how can you do that one so simply we can do it here so coefficient of variation coefficient of variation is equal to a standard division divided by expected return how much is the standard division a standard division is 11.56 percentage right divided by what percentage divided by expected return how much is expected return 32.25 percentage now press the equal sign you get some percentage right this is equal to something like that but there is a mistake so we have to do it again here right so don't take the percentage take hello one point Five six divided by thirty two point uh, thirty two point two five. Press the equal sign, you get some value, right? So this is the case. This is the value of expected the value of coefficient of variation. What do you mean by this one? It means for each percentage of return. So this is the possibility of the risk zero point three five percentage. For each percentage of return, there is this much expected. Or coefficient of variation there is this much expected risk or we can say for each dollar of return there is 0 0.35 it means 35 cent around 36 cent as a loss right so return is more and of course risk of the project is less in this way you can calculate the standard division and coefficient of variation right so one column for return one column for probability next column for r in order to find out the r bar then r minus r bar r minus r bar r minus r bar in the power of two then r minus r bar power of two into p whatever is the result so you have to take the root of two of that one so that is a standard deviation it means risk for this project is hello one point something but the return for this project is 32.2 in order to find out the relationship so you have to find out coefficient of variation and this was coefficient of variation how much is that it is 0 0.35 around 0.36 it means for each dollar of return there is a 36 cent of possibility of risk so this was the solution